Now, chaos over there in the House on the Republican side. Each day that passes in Washington, two things hold true. We keep getting closer to default, but no closer to a Republican plan to lift the debt ceiling. I repeat once again, Rep House Republicans, Leader McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, show us your plan. It's, more than a it's been more than a month since Speaker McCarthy and House Republicans began threatening the entire U.S. economy in order to secure drastic spending cuts that in all likelihood will hurt the American people badly. But in all this time, nobody can seem to get an answer to the $64,000 question. What cuts exactly are the Republicans proposing? Show us your plan. Some of the things we're hearing from the MAGA wing is the stuff of nightmares. Later this afternoon, I'll join with a number of Senate colleagues to shine a light on how devastating the radical MAGA cuts would be for American families if the MAGA Republicans got their way. But where is the House Republican plan? How are they going to lift the debt ceiling? After months of no answers, now Speaker McCarthy has recently claimed Republican leadership is trying to come up with a plan right now. I'm glad he's at least saying he wants to answer our question. Frankly, it's a lot easier said than done. And I don't think Speaker McCarthy will be able to, able to unify his conference. It takes 218 votes, as we know, to pass anything in the House. And with a razor-thin GOP majority paralyzed by internal division, and with the stronghold the MAGA Republicans have on the Speaker, Speaker McCarthy will have a very difficult time getting everyone on the same page, if he can do it at all. To quote from Punchbowl this morning, House Republicans, quote, face an intractable political math challenge as they seek to reduce the $1.4 trillion deficit, unquote. For one, Speaker McCarthy has insisted Republicans will only preserve the full faith and credit of the United States if they secure drastic spending cuts first. MAGA Republican hardliners have demanded Speaker McCarthy release a proposal to balance the budget over the next 10 years one of the conditions for having supported his leadership. Wow, friends, this is crazy. Gas prices are starting to rise once again across the country. But Democrats are working on new legislation. And hopefully this plan will prevent prices from increasing any further. Also, the legislation would provide financial relief to millions of Americans. However, Democrats need to gain support from Republicans which may be very difficult. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the new details. Also, if you'd like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is simply click and like several of my videos. And then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning the weekly giveaways. According to analysts, Get ready for gas prices to rise once again. Going into spring, a gallon of gas could go back above $4. Gas Buddy Petroleum Analyst Patrick DeHaan recently told Yahoo News, It is a question of when, not if. I think something like that could happen by potentially April, maybe sooner. I think motorists are going to start getting squeezed more so in late February. So the next three weeks could be a bit of a mixed bag. DeHaan also points to planned breaks in production at refineries as part of the reason for a rise in prices. He said, we have a pretty heavy amount of refinery turnarounds that is going to start here in the next couple of weeks. That is going to lead to a diminished amount of gasoline supply. According to AAA, the national average of retail gasoline is currently at $3.41 per gallon compared to $3.10 one month ago. Household budgets in the Golden State, which are already stretched very thin, as prices increase for everything from rent to eggs, are being pummeled by monster gas bills. Southern California Gas Company and Pacific Gas and Electric began warning customers in January that they would see higher bills after the wholesale price of natural gas hit record highs. But the reality didn't sink in for many customers until their bills started arriving later in the month. Wholesale prices for natural gas in the West were 300% higher in December than they were in January 2022. 
Since December, prices have plummeted, but customers won't see that reflected in their bills until late February or early March. SoCal Gas's senior vice president has said that customer service lines have received more than 1 million calls this year. That is an increase of 15 percent. The charges have been especially ugly for Californians on fixed incomes and those with health conditions that are affected by low temperatures. Some customers have put their bills on a credit card or have been able to pay only a portion of the total. California Governor Gavin Newsom has called for a federal investigation into the wholesale price of natural gas, asking the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to look into whether market manipulation, anti-competitive behavior, or other activities are driving these ongoing elevated prices. Utilities generally buy and store gas in the summer when prices are much lower, then tap into the reserves in the winter when wholesale prices rise. Data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration show that SoCal's gas daily inventory began to fall in November at a much steeper rate than the average of the previous five years. According to analysts, if SoCal Gas saved those reserves for later in the winter, the company would have offset some costs for customers. But lawmakers are trying to address this issue. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock joined his Democratic colleagues this week in reintroducing the Big Oil Windfall Profits Tax Act to crack down on profiteering by big oil and return the industry's excessive gains to working people. Senator Warnock said in a news release, I'm proud to support the Big Oil Windfall Profits Tax Act because wealthy oil corporations need to be held accountable for profiteering off of hardworking Americans. The bill will combat corporate greed from large oil companies reporting record earnings and provide economic relief to working families across the nation. The five largest publicly traded oil companies hauled in pre-tax profits totaling nearly $265 billion in fiscal year 2022. Exxon alone reported $77.8 billion in profits in 2022, smashing the earnings record of any American or European oil company. Exxon also announced plans to keep oil production flat for the year ahead. The Big Oil Windfall Profits Tax Act would reduce big oil's windfall profits. Large oil companies will owe a per barrel quarterly tax. This would be equal to 50% of the difference between the current price of a barrel of oil and the pre-crisis average price per barrel between 2015 and 2019. It will also apply to both domestically produced and imported barrels of oil to ensure a level playing field. The clawback will apply to oil profits in 2022 and going forward. Well, my amazing and most dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Thursday afternoon. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here every day and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing two winners tomorrow for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, my friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos. And then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning the weekly giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed Thursday.